Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Premier League Fantasy Football and welcome to my video. In today's video I want to look at my team and see how well they performed in the double game week 27. Then we move ahead to the blank game week 28. So if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe and drop a like on the video as it helps my channel out a lot. So here we go. So as you can see for game week 27, I got 98 points above the average of 63 and I have managed to bank my transfer. This was my main plan, that's why I wildcarded in game week 26, to be able to bank the transfer in game week 27 and attack the blank game week 28. And then kind of set myself up for the double game week 29 where I will be bench boosting. I know this is pretty much of a template, but I am still managing to get a green arrow and going into those ranks that I, I want to get to. You know, I'm trying to push right now and I think this is the opportunity for people to, to gain a lot of ranks. And that's what's happening. That is what's happening. Even if you are using a template, it is still happening for some reason. Um, but yeah, for me, I am around 67,000 in the world right now. I've got two free transfers going into the blank game week. My team is looking good. Hopefully there's no injuries. And then I'll be bench boosting in game week 29 where I might not be even taking a minus 4.8. I'll just use two, three of my transfers. We'll see what happens, of course. And then I still got my free hit to use. And a lot of people are thinking to use around um, the free hit in game week 20, uh, 32, which is going to be a blank game week. And yeah, I guess that's where I'm going to go as well because that's where the next blank is. So let's have a look at the team. I've got 98, really happy, and, um, you know, I could have wildcarded in game week 27, which I could have gained maybe additional 10 to 15 points, because basically I wildcarded the game week 26, where I removed a lot of the Liverpool players, um, and those are the points that I kind of lost. Uh, my, my plan was not to bench boost in game week 27 at all, even though Arsenal had a really good fixture away against Fulham. I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to go for it. And, you know, if they return, they return, right? So I can't really do anything from that. Got to stick with the plan a little bit. And I think the plan has gone okay. Actually, pretty well. So, Kepa in go. Um, three points. Um, yeah, he was on my bench because I think the, the wild card that I created, Sanchez, was a disappointment. Um, he was the player that I picked wrong, and these things can happen. I wish I went for Raya instead of Sanchez, because Sanchez got dropped, and then that would have gave me additional um, points there from Raya, and then obviously I would have had um, a split in hand from, from Brighton. But it's okay, uh, we just got to move on. That's one of the mistakes that I did on my wildcard. So I do need to address that. So I think around game week 29, I will be getting a new goalkeeper. So I might think of getting Ward back into the team because he's cheap and he's got double game weeks and so on. Or David De Gea as a as, a, as some, something different, right? But anyways, so Ben Mee and Henry both keeping a clean sheet in the second game uh, against Southampton. Ben Mee with, with seven, one bonus point from him. Um, Henry here just got the normal um, six point clean sheet point there uh, I played Trippier instead of Botman um, that was that was a good move because uh, he, he got an assist against against Wolves uh, and he's highly owned you know I don't really want to bench him I don't want to hurt my rank as well that's one of the things that I'm doing in this game I've uh, got another highly owned player like Saka played him um, you know I've got to play these highly owned players because if they do well that they will definitely hurt my rank a lot Haaland as well didn't didn't uh, captain him. I think a lot of people went for him as a captain. Eighty percent owned by the whole community there, um, so really highly owned. Um, Harry Kane, uh, yeah, returning me two two goals, uh, thirteen points. He's actually helped me out with the overall rank as well. So really happy to own him. Um, played really well, scored uh, two goals. Yeah, against Nottingham Forest, as you can see. Um, Spurs beat them 3-1 and uh, the big gain is here obviously is is the is is the Brentford uh, defense that got me one clean sheet and the 
Brighton midfielders, you know, we could have went for a lot of their midfielders and most of their midfielders returned big. Uh, Matoma here with, uh, in the two games that he played, uh, two assists to his name, could have got more, 12. A lot of people captain McAllister with 10 points there. He only got one goal and um, no returns for the Crystal Palace game, but got that um, uh, clean sheet point there. So he's got 10 in total, but the main point collector was actually Tony as you can see there 11 points against Southampton scored a goal uh, and assisted um, got a yellow card as well but managed to get that last like minute assist to give him that three bonus points which helped out a lot of people who captained him so 26 points from him so overall really happy got the green arrow that I needed okay Bench Martellini and Gabriel, big returns from them. Could have bench boosted, but that was not really my plan. I could have played like maybe Gabriel instead of Trippier or one of the. Yeah, yeah. It's just it was just difficult to to bench someone, so I just did this, and I think a lot of people was in the same situation anyway. But yeah, let's move on to the blank game week twenty eight, and as you can see, I have got one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten players for this blank game week um, 28. I've got two free transfers. And the transfer that I'm thinking to do is to remove Haaland for Watkins. I could remove Haaland for Havertz or maybe keep Haaland and remove one of my defence for like Chilwell or... Maybe remove one of my midfielders like McAllister or something for um, Madison. I could try something a little bit different and go for Son from Tottenham. So there's a lot of options. There's a lot of like players that we could pick from. Now what I'm trying to think is what if someone uses a free hit? What? How would their team look like? So let's have a look. Definitely at least two um, Newcastle defence, maybe even Almoron could be a good option here. They would definitely have Watkins against Bournemouth, maybe one of their defence. Um, maybe keeping Tony is, is the way to go because how highly owned he is. Um, people could take a chance on Madison. Kane, definitely. I'm not sure who, who would people bring from Wolves or Leeds, but but for like Chelsea, Havertz, Chilwell, and then they'll just pick you know, any three Arsenal players that they think that is going to play. So we're looking at Saka, Odegaard, and probably Gabriel, or maybe um, one of the other defence or something. So, and, and looking at my team, I'm pretty much there with the free hit team, right? Um, I think... You know, I've got to pick if it's either going to be Watkins or, or Havertz um, for Haaland. And I'm going to bring Haaland back into the team against um, against Leicester City. I am going to be bench boosting in game week. Um, sorry, not Leicester City against Southampton. So I'm only going to not have Haaland for one game. So I'm just going to hope that he doesn't score a hat trick. But with the, the bench boost that I'm about to do, I'm hoping that that's going to cover Haaland's points. Um, so... That's, that's the idea. So if, let me just put all of the players over here like this so we can just have a good look. And as you can see, this is the team. I don't really want to remove um, Rashford because, you know, he's got a, a decent um, fixtures in game week um, 29 and then Everton and then, you know, you know not in throw so good. I don't want to remove him. I'm looking ahead as well, right? Um, McAllister could be someone I could remove and then bring in another Brighton player later on. So I'm looking at Madison or something, then that will give me, you know, full sign at 11 team. So, yeah, I've got quite a few options really. And, and I, I think I'm covering all of the, the bases. I'm getting all of the players that I need for this uh, blank game week 28. Um, that wild card that I created in game week 26 has helped me navigate this blank. So that means I can use my free hit elsewhere. So I've got two free transfers. And as you can see, I've got 2.5 million in the bank. So like I mentioned, I could remove McAllister and I will have 7.9. Um, obviously, I want 
let's see what Madison is. So he's 8.1. Won't be able to do a straight swap on him. So that means I'll have to make some adjustments there. I could then or just bring Almiron. You know, Almiron's got okay fixtures. You know, one against Nottingham Forest. Two uh, fixtures here. Not the best, obviously. But he's just a cheap player. And plus... Newcastle could have a, a double like in game week 30 or even 31. So it's good to kind of predict that and just to see, if, you know, if that works, then then yeah, if I've got Almiron, then that kind of helps out with that situation. Um, I'm, I'm also thinking about, you know, maybe remove one of the Brentford defenders. Uh, maybe not now, but I am looking at um, Chelsea's defence like, Chilwell. Chilwell is back. You know, he's fit. I'm hoping that he, he continues to play. He has played like four four games. Um, decent minutes as well. He's got one assist and, and, and a goal in his last two. So I think that with the fixtures with the fixtures that they have, he could return really well, especially in these fixtures here. One against Everton and one against Aston Villa. But they've got the Champions League to, to go through. So, there's, there's quite a few options here. I could go for Havertz. Could be quite an exciting pick. Um, you know, I guess, you know, this, this if, he, if he didn't do it, if he didn't score this goal, then then yeah, maybe no one would have looked at him. But he, he is an option against Everton um, and against Aston Villa. So, but I think my main player is going to be probably Watkins. Watkins is the, is the main player there. He, he's on form, as you can see there. He's just scoring a lot of goals. He's still low-owned as well. Uh, good fixture here against Bournemouth. We'll see what happens there. Then moving forward, look. I mean, look at these fixtures. Nottingham Forest at home, Newcastle at home. And then what I could do is, you know, remove Tony and bring Haaland back into the team. So if I'd like do this as an example, play this i got 7.2 right and i can always use the other transfer to to sort out any other problems and let's just say tony gets that yellow card in game week 28 then i'll just remove him bring harlan back into the team or maybe i'll go for Havertz and try something different and bring harlan back into the team i'll have the money to do that um for game week 29 i don't really want to discuss it too much because with the two free transfers, which I'm hoping to have, um, there's a lot of options. I'm, I'm happy to keep Watkins for these doubles, and I'm happy to bench boost him. Um, and with two free transfers, we'll see what happens with Tony. I might have to remove him and then go and get maybe Havertz or something or, or another striker. Probably bring Haaland back into the team. And then, yeah, do some other adjustments. But for now, I just want to concentrate on game week 28. And I think we've just do one transfer. Keeping two transfers for game week 29 is my plan. So that is pretty much it. I think for the captain options, I've got Harry Kane, Tony and Saka. I am probably going to go for Saka. Because I think... Being a midfielder, he's just going to return, like one little return is enough, right? He gets a decent amount of points by being a midfielder. That clean sheet point helps as well. But then you've got Harry Kane that can score a hat trick from out of nowhere. Um, but I'm, I'm happy to, to captain Saka and see how that goes. Um, even if Kane does well, I don't think I'm going to drop too much in the overall ranks. Um, and it doesn't really matter who our captain. I think um, they both has got a very good fixture to actually return. And that is about it, guys. Thank you so much for joining. So I'm just going to remove McAllister here and put Haaland there. So this is how the team structure will look like. I'll remove Haaland for Watkins and bring Haaland back into the team um, in game week 30. Because I'll have the money and that's not a problem at all. But anyways, thank you so much for joining. I hope that this has helped you. Road to 50k is 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 there. Hopefully, it's it's gonna happen in game week 28. If it doesn't happen, we've still got another chance in game week uh, 29, and hoping to go over that line as soon as possible and nestle in there. That's what I'm trying to do. But we'll see how it goes, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.